Hello and welcome to another video from the Fancy Legion. Um, we're doing our 2020 rookies. You right, Sean? Welcome back. Yeah, very good, Al. Yeah, this is going to be exciting. This is a player you kind of like a little bit here, isn't it? I think like the understatement, but um, we're, we're keeping okay. it on the down low for now. Yeah, we won't say. I know. Anything. I know another. A lot of other people like him. So um, yeah, they do. Yeah, it's understandable. Michael Pittman, USC, six foot four, yeah. run the four point five two. Well, you, we did watch a lot of tape in January together. We, I've watched a lot of tape beforehand, and he was a player that was kind of not on my board. Then we sat down together, we started re-watching tape together, and he was a player that you instantly liked. And I have to be honest, I, you know, he definitely warmed and he climbed my board quite a lot. I, I, I can totally see why people, you know, I think he's a very interesting sleeper. He's in that sort of tier three wide receiver group in this class who's going to fall through, you know, fall through to the back end of a sort of second round, probably second round sort of pick uh, anywhere from 201 all the way through to, you know, the last pick in the second round is probably where he could go anywhere. And landing spot, obviously, with these guys is key. Here's what I like about him, right? Um, got a bloodline pedigree. So a lot of players in his family played in the NFL or connected people around him. Very, he's had that pedigree through his life. Um, He's very similar in many ways to Cortland Sutton. So that's a really good comparison, actually, of the kind of player he is. And I like that. I think that's well, very fair. You'd take that, wouldn't you, if you were drafted him? He, he's got very good speed and quickness separation. That, those things stand out on his highlight tapes and his, his actual route running. So those things are massive, okay? Massive for me. Um, Sorry, I rephrase that. It wasn't quite put across right. It is speed and separation. Sorry, aren't what separate them. Those are the things that I have a rub against him for. Yeah. But what what I would say is this: he has a huge heart, right? So, and this might not mean anything except for one thing: Philip Lindsay. So he's like Philip Lindsay. He's a wide receiver equivalent of Philip Lindsay. Now, if you if you said, okay, what's the biggest upside for Michael Pittman for me personally? What's your biggest upside for him, Sean? I think, I think he'd make a fabulous wide receiver too in the NFL. A fabulous one. He's a, a team player. He's family orientated. He listens to the coaches. Um, he's a quick study and quick learner for me. And he plays with a heart that means he's bigger than his actual frame. He's quicker than he looks on tape. Um, it, you cannot put a price on heart in the NFL. I know this because I played with heart. I know this because when I evaluate players, I know what it means to some of them to get this far. So when we look at him and we look at him and go, I, I think he's a wide receiver too. I, I don't want to actually just say that's it. Because I want to say this about him really. Out of all the players, deep end of the draft board, he's got the biggest upside to be the number one out of this group overall in the end. Because... Nobody plays with greater heart than him. Nobody. Some of them have better talent. Some of them have better ability. Some of them have natural, have a huge jump start on him. But you don't think this kid can close the gap down in the NFL? I do. Do you think this boy can, can do it all? I do. I think he can play special teams. I think he's got so much about him, right? Um, I'm going to go a little deeper, actually. He's, he, he has big production. He's got size and toughness. He contests the catch well. Um, great hands, right? So those are things. He builds up, although he hasn't got natural speed and quickness separation, he does build up the speed. And what he does on corners and safeties is he sneaks them, right? So it's this, he'll, he'll build up that speed and then just stop and then separate. So he doesn't have natural speed and quickness separation, which is what you need in some of those shorter range routes. But longer term off those safeties, he murders them every time. He's very clever. Um, he run blocks really well, right? So for yeah, a wide receiver, that's a big coming, plus. It's underappreciated when you need to right? get a player in a team. So I, I, when I look at my, when I'm evaluating a player and I'm thinking about, I'm talking from a coaching perspective, you think, okay, you've got good hands, right? So, so you know, you hope that your wide receiver has good hands. Do you move well? well? I don't mind about speed. I've never been a person who, you know, track speed is, oh, it's all great and everything until you get in the field and you can't get any separation. This guy, he sets his run block up well, right? So for a wide receiver, he's, he's, he's got size, he muscles people out and he helps my run game. God, dear, straight away, I want to get him on the field. Now, I want to get him on because there are wide receiver ones that don't do that, right? So I want him on the field. And the other thing that's going to get him on the field is he can do special teams. So this guy has a huge chance to go 
right up the board, right? Really big. And he might be a player that slips under the radar, lands not perfect, and yet in a year or two, we're all talking about how great he could be. So I'm very high on him. I totally understand why you are. A couple of rubs, okay? A couple of bigger rubs that people have to really consider with him. Yeah, he's a little slow, right? A little slow. Hey, four, five, two. That's not slow. No, but I know, I know right receivers who are just as slow. I'll just give you a couple of names in the NFL played with just as much heart, just as much desire. Yeah. Randy Moss. Yeah. They regarded him as slow, you know. That's what they said about him sometimes. He was a little slow. R- rubbish. Jeremy Rice. I've never heard of him. What's he ever yeah, done? Jeremy Rice. He was a little slow. 4.57. A little on the touchy slow side. Yeah. But yet he played with the best skill of any player in the game. The most heart, the most desire, the most everything. Pittman's like that. He plays with bloody desire. He plays with heart. He is he's a player we have to, have to put on our sleeper boards. We have to say it because as much as we want to hide it, we have to shout that this guy's got a real, real shot out. I mean, I know you're a big fan and you've really switched me on to him and I, I really have to evaluate him carefully. But he is good. He's really good. That heart, I can't get over the heart. When I listen to the tapes, I don't watch the highlights. What I like to listen to is I like to have a look at the interviews as well on players. And he's a player that his interviews, he doesn't say a lot. It's a little bit on the shy side sometimes. And at first I was thinking, why doesn't he say much? And I worked it out after a while. When he does speak, it's all exactly what you want to hear. Because he doesn't like... He doesn't like to, you know, he's not been coached like all players. Like, you hear a lot of co- players. I mean, I remember watching the 30 for 30s, you know, ESPN 30 for 30s. And you hear players who, like uh, Jim Kelly, for example, he didn't want to get traded to Buffalo. And so when, he, when they interviewed him, what did he say? Can't wait to get started with you at Buffalo. It's a brilliant place. Yeah. This kid isn't polished when it comes to interviews. He says it honestly. But it's not negative. What he talks about is what he didn't do well what he could improve, why he let his team down. What, you know, this, that's refreshing. It yeah? is refreshing, isn't it? It is right. so refreshing, uh, you know. In, in... A, coach, a coach, I want that player in my team. I, I, I would actually turn around and say to him, okay, tell me what you didn't do well in this game. And he'd tell me. And I'd say, what about you? What about you over there? What did you not do so well? And when they start saying, oh, I, I thought I had a good game, 100 yards, two touchdowns. Yeah, but you weren't a team player. You didn't do what Pittman did. That's why this guy's going to be special, because he's going to find his way into teams. Now, he might start out auxiliary, may take a year or two, but I think we'll be looking at him in this draft class in a few years and going, what a special player this was. So, very high. Limitations don't worry me. Um, I can work on them, and I, I think this guy could do things that could kill you, because he can sneak those safeties and corners. That means when he's setting up the run blocks and he's sneaking those corners off for me, Somebody else in the team benefits because you've got a selfless person like Michael Pittman on your team. And when he gets his moment to shine and it will come, people will talk about him for a long time to come. Very special, very unique, good talent. Very high on him. Yeah, I mean, when we watched the, um, my take on him, when we watched the tape, I was absolutely blown away. I watched the highlights and it was catch after catch. It was really caught my eye, really caught my eye time after time. And, I'm prepared to accept that this guy could be a flop, but he's also, if you're shooting for the stars and you, you're picking, I don't know, 16 or 17, that's around the region he's going at, at the moment, you know, consensus opinion, then this, this guy is a guy I'm going to target all day long. I absolutely love him. Um, he's, he's he, Like you say, I think you've covered most of the things. He's very physical. I mean, physical is probably something you can't teach, and toughness is something you can't teach. Um, uses his body you know, and really he is tough. athletic. He, you know, he yeah. he makes these tough, contested passes, and he and he, you know, he scores touchdowns when you think, you know, it's a fifty-fifty ball. He reminds me a bit of Golladay and a bit of Cortland Sutton, like you say. Um, you know, in recent years, I just think this guy could go all the way. I mean, I know he is somebody that might not make it. But I, I really, uh, really like him. I can't say how, how much I really like him. A quarterback to gel with him. And he'll fly. Yeah, he'll exactly. Absolutely... And the right sort of coaching team that will get behind him. And uh, I guess all players need that. But you get the... I mean, he is a, he's already made a lot of fans with the Jets because obviously he's played with Darnold before. Um, yeah. Be a good fit there. And the, well, and the Jets fans like him already. I mean, he's, um, he's really, he really comes across quite well. He's likable. You know, you get it the... Would... Like you said, he, he's the kind of guy... 
that's been brought up the right way and he'll try and do everything to improve. And then you get these idiots who get the test positive for like drugs at the combine. You're like, I mean, you're going to cost yourself millions of pounds. I mean, it's just idiotic. And if they're going to do it he, there, he know. wouldn't be lost. He wouldn't be lost in the Jets. He'd be a really good fit there. And I, I could see him doing very, very well, very quickly. He'd be a really good player for them. He well, really would. I'd, I'd like him a lot there. And, and so, uh, you know, if Darnold does have a say, because there's plenty of room. Robbie Anderson's gone now. You know, they've got Crowder and they've got Perryman and they've got a few others that, you know, they could do all right. But, um, you he know, helps everybody. He, he, helps, he helps everybody. He helps your quarterback. He helps your running back. He helps your special teams. <laughs> there's not a lot not to like. I mean, you know, that's all you've got to know. I absolutely love him. And, you know, I'd actually say to anybody, if you go on YouTube and just look at his highlights, he, it's really hard not to be blown away by the guy. And he's not a big value. I mean, he's, he's pick 16 or something like that. And he might even Pops. be further. Cannot there's a lot more, there's a lot of trendier names. But for me, the yeah. most eye-catching talent that I looked at the whole thing, that whole day, I mean, I kept going on. I was annoying you like crazy. <laughs> but look yeah. at this, look at this play. I mean, it's amazing. It was like play after play. And it's just like eye-catching to me. I had to go a lot deeper after we spoke. I mean, I had to... I know, I know you'll go away and have a proper look at him. <laughs> I, 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 I looked at him in the college games and, and for some reason, like I said at the time, it hadn't, you know, completely gelled with me at that point. I wasn't completely enamoured. And, and that's because you're evaluating so many players. And there's a big receiver class. It but is, over it? time, yeah. over time, you know, once you hit a certain point, you, you start to tie a few things together. And I went deeper into analysis on him and I started looking more at, the immeasurables, and for me, the biggest one is heart. And once it's you have that, toughness, yeah. once you have that with those other skills combined, um, you think I think that you've got you're onto something here with him. And I, I honestly, genuinely believe he will be a player. And we I will don't look think at he's a fast. flashy player. He's a physical no. player that could could end up dominating a bit like Metcalf, a bit you know as well. He's another example where a physical receiver that and Galladay that and and Sutton that can dominate defenses. You know, and he. He'll probably get better as he gets older. I appreciate there are safer receivers in this class than him. But if you want to shoot for the moon at, at that sort of thing, he's, my, he's going to be my pick all day long if I can get him. Yeah. But he, I know pretty, our, our sort of uh, people in draft for, will be watching this and uh, will probably screw me. Look, <laughs> well, look, all I can say is this. Look, you get him at the right price. That's what you've got to do. You can't afford to go up too high to get him. You get no, him where no, he's going to it's all about the value because there is there isn't a high there isn't a high floor on him, um, but there's potentially probably, a high ceiling. So you, you know, know, probably he's not going to land perfect, but that doesn't matter. So just watch out for him. It's a big thumbs up from me. It's an emperor thumbs up. I'm telling you that. I absolutely think he's going to do really well, and I won't be surprised. In, you know, you don't for redraft you don't take in year one, but for dynasty you do, and you look forward to what could come. It's a definite shoot. You're shooting for top here. This could get you an extra player. You've got your first round pick. Now you might have your second but you've round You've also pick. got to be prepared to <laughs> that it could be the absolute bottom as well because... It can always happen with any of them. Again, he's always. a polarising player, but I'm... Oh, I'm he is going to be my top target at that, that sort of point, that sort of second, second, in the second, second round. round second round I see nothing but opportunity there's, for me there's no risk in the second round of a rookie draft That's, there's all upside he's got it all let's hope for the best for him OK um, well, let us know what you think I mean it would be good to see if you know some people went away and watched his highlights and let us know what you think but um, he just absolutely blew me away I mean I, I, I can't say it any clearer than that to be honest but no nope, you've done it very well done justice to the player and now we see what he does for himself big heart big opportunity see what comes okay if you've enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up and uh, you know subscribe and uh, catch up on all the rookie profiles we've uh, we've got about 20 in, coming up now on the site so uh, enjoy and them and, we'll... Pittman, and if you know michael Pittman, tell him about this video get yeah. get this video to michael Pittman. i'm his biggest yeah. fan well probably not his biggest fan but one of them i, I definitely <sighs> I've got a bit of a, a man crush on him, you know, for fantasy at least. But uh, it might end up blowing up in my face, but we'll see. And well, it's good. You've got yeah. to have them. Get, get subscribed. Them. You know, come and join us. Come and watch some more. Come and comment. I mean, we'd love to hear from you. I mean, people have been commenting and it's great. You know, we love that because, yeah, we could talk football all year and actually do, do, do that. So uh, we'll see you on the yeah. next one. See you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.